online question from Eli, who wants to know, I think this came up several months ago, maybe a year ago, um, how is a person supposed to know who's a real rabbi? How was a person supposed to know who was a real rabbi? Now, I don't know exactly what the person means when he says that, a real rabbi. Um, I guess, for number one, that he is uh, knowledgeable. I once said to my doctor many years ago, I said to him, exactly this point, I said to him, to us, layman, a person with the name of a doctor, he's a doctor. A doctor's a doctor. But you as a doctor, you know who's a real doctor because you went to medical school with him. You know who cheated on their exams. You know who studied. You know who's really a doctor. The guy just passed because he just went through it and didn't really study and become a real doctor. You know the doctors that really put themselves into it, really knowledgeable, and the ones we should really go to. He said, yes, that's true. That's true. You won't say it so fast, but it's true. So I said... But to you, same thing by a rabbi. To you, a rabbi is a rabbi, said the doctor. But we as rabbis, we know the guys who really study. We the guys who really know the stuff, the ones you can rely on. So the person asking the question is, probably means who's a real rabbi. Number one, a real rabbi, a person who you can depend on to ask the words of the Torah, what God wants from us, I guess that's what we call a real rabbi. A real rabbi, he means... Who can we go to and rely on that we, if we ask him something, he's saying what God wants us to do. It's not from his own thoughts or from his own uh, uh, reasoning that he has, re he has on the agenda. He's telling over what God wants him to say. I imagine that's what they mean by a real rabbi. How is what a real rabbi? A rabbi who's really there, who wants to and does give over God's will to the people who ask him questions. Now, the per who, who kind of rabbi is that? He has to be very knowledgeable in Torah law and Torah study. And he has to be also a God-fearing person, a pious person. Those are the two ingredients who make a real rabbi. He knows his stuff. He studies. He studied. He studies. And he is pious. And he's very uh, tzaddik. And, and he's very, very uh, God-fearing person. So that's a real rabbi. So uh, usually... When you speak to a rabbi, you can tell. If you ask him something and tell it a few times, you can uh, find out to see how knowledgeable he is and how pious he is, how sincere he is. If it's hard to know that, you have to go to somebody who might not be a real rabbi, but he knows who rabbis are. There's certain laymen who also know who the real rabbis are, who maybe the person himself doesn't know. You go to a certain city, you don't know who's who, but you have a friend over there who lived there for a few years or a certain neighborhood, we want to know who a real rabbi is. You go to people living there and, and uh, dealt with the rabbis in the area and to know who the real rabbis are. Of course, uh, uh, as an Orthodox Jew, God-fearing Jew, I will say that you have to have a, a Jew who keeps the Torah. If he doesn't keep the whole Torah, then he can't be a, a real rabbi. If, he, you can, if he's a conservative rabbi who does not keep all the laws of the Torah, a reformed rabbi who doesn't keep the laws of the Torah, I'm not going to say this is a real rabbi. A real rabbi means that you are authentic. You are keeping the laws of the Torah. You believe in the Torah. You believe in the Torah is given to Mount Sinai. And that's what uh, that's a real rabbi is. So uh, I, I, one time, I don't know if I ever mentioned, I once uh, had the experience. I was on a plane from Florida to New York. I sat down next to a person. I had my yarmulke on. And... Uh, and the man next to me said to me, you look like an Orthodox rabbi. I said, yes. He said to me, well, what I'm going to tell you now, you're going to run away from me because I'm a Reformed rabbi. I said, I said no, I've been waiting this my whole life. I went, I'm going to run away. I really want to sit next. I want to, I want to talk to you. I want to discuss with you. And I want to understand what Reformed Judaism is all about. I, I take this opportunity. I'm not going to run away. Well, listen, I don't like to talk about people but the man was totally ignorant of, of, of Torah. I mean, he used to read a few books from secular people, and uh, he didn't, uh, I'm sure, not from not like that, but he was really a nice guy. He was a nice guy. I mean, it was, uh, I'm not, uh, he was very interesting. He was sitting next to his wife, and uh, I said to him, 
What do you tell a person who comes and says that the relatives is dying from cancer? What do you tell them? He said, I don't know what to tell them. I have nothing to tell them, he said. Nothing to tell them. Didn't believe in the world to come. Didn't believe that they're dying, they're suffering. I don't know what to tell them, he tells them. Imagine that. So his wife sitting next to him says, you mean to say that these, these Orthodox people believe that if somebody's on a plane and there's a danger of crashing, you mean they, they, pray, they pray and they think they have some, some... Yeah, they really do that, he says. The Orthodox people, yeah, they believe in that. He was so void of anything Jewish. It was unbelievable. I was so disappointed. I was ready for a nice feisty fight with him, you know, and discuss. There's no one to talk to us. Now. I really was very disappointed. I really... I don't think all reform rabbis are, yeah. are educated. I don't... Th- I, I hope... I, yeah. But they're educated mostly from secular books, no, not no, from Torah. There were rabbis, rabbis very few. Very few. No, no, they don't believe in... I asked them, do you believe in the Torah from Sinai? He said, well, there was something there. There was something there. I said, guys, come on. Was it, was it or not? But so I asked him, know, well, there was something. I don't know. There was something. There was something. He tells me. They don't believe it. They don't believe in Torah for Sinai. No? Well, I, I wouldn't say they. I would say when you both believe. No. no. Reform, that's the reformed. It's what, the word reformed. I'm a reformed. Form, the reformed are. Reformed. Are you a rabbi? Are you a rabbi? No, not a rabbi. It's my rabbi. He's very educated. Very I ask him if he believes for Torah from Sinai. I ask him if he believes for Ask him if he believes in it. Uh, if he believes in it, so how can you not perform? How can you not do it if you believe in it? If Torah is from Sinai, God gave the Torah Mount Sinai, so how can you not uh, uh, keep the laws of the Torah? That's the second question. If he believes in it, why doesn't he, believe, why doesn't he uh, do the, the laws of the Torah? Often, no, I've met, uh, well, I've met people who are scholars, and they don't believe in the Torah. Yeah. Why are they reformed then? They're not reformed if they practice and observe. They, yeah, they, they, they are. They okay. They okay. I'm wonderful. I, I'm glad to hear. Okay. I, that's what I, I hope all reformed rabbis to, to practice and observe. It would be wonderful. Mashiach will come tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> ask a rabbi if he believes in Torah from Sinai. Ask him. And if he does, ask him why doesn't he practice all the laws of the Torah. Unless he does, okay, he does. But how do we get on that subject about who's a real rabbi or who's a real rabbi? Oh, real rabbi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.